Hey there guys, my name is Marcus from Online Nurturing and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how we can use, set up and also activate the Aerolo eSIM for your Android phone. The one important thing before we're gonna start is to know if your phone got compatibility with eSIM. If it does, that's really good and we can start with the tutorial. And now the first thing that we have to do, we have to get ourselves an Aerolo for our Phone. and also if you're going to use the link down below in the description and code you're going to get a discount so let's click here search app and let's write here Airlow. okay and you want to install it i got it already installed but i just wanted to show you that you're going to find it in google play now let's click open and let's just wait until it loads and here we go now i already have account but if you don't have account you have to create it so when you're going to be here, what are we going to find? We're going to find here the local ASIM, regional or global. So you have to choose uh, what kind of plan you want. If you want to have local, so let's say that you want to go to Spain or Morocco. I personally use it for Zanzibar. I use it in Morocco and it works so well. Or you want to use it for, I don't know, France. You can just go local. But if you want to uh, go regional because you want to travel across Africa or you want to choose Europe, you can use that. Or even when you're going to go, go with global because you're going to travel around the world, you can use the global package, the global plan. Now, when you're going to be in regional, I just want to show you something here. You're going to have, let's say Asia, right? And when you're going to be in Asia and let's say that I'm going to choose the first plan right here, then you're going to have the supported countries. And definitely check the if you have the countries that you're going to go to and if you're going to have them in this list. So if you're going to choose the regional, definitely check out the supported countries. Now, when we go back and back, I'm going to show you right now how we can choose the right package for you. Most of the packages for Aerolo are packages with a data only. You're not going to have calls or SMS, nothing like that. And if you have also two SIM card phone, you can use them at the same time uh, with the phone and also uh, with the home SIM card and then the eSIM. So right here, when we're gonna have the regions, you're gonna have Africa, Asia, all of that. So let's say we're gonna have local SIM and let's say I'm going to write here Slovak or just destination where you wanna go. Okay, Slovakia. And here you're going to have all the packages. So here you're going to find that you're going to have data and validity. So that means that we're going to have one gigabyte of data for seven days, or we can choose three gigabyte of data for 30 days, or even five gigabyte of data for 30 days. And the more you're going to scroll, it's going to change. So let's say that you want to get for this tutorial, I'm going to choose this one right here. So I'm going to click on it. And right here, you're going to have more information. So you're going to have the coverage, data, validity. And then you're going to have available top up packages. So you can then if you're going to have if you want to have more data, you can do it. And then you're going to have the network. So this is going to be the network that the eSIM is going to be connected to. Then we're going to have the plan type and we're going to have the data only. So that's if you can have like SMS and voice, you're going to have it right there. And then uh, you're going to have the activation policy. So now when I have it, I'm going to click buy now. And here you're going to choose the payment method. I have PayPal. And here you're going to write my code. So if you're going to get the discount, just write my code and you're going to find down below under this video in the description and you're going to have it cheaper. And then you're going to confirm this and this. And when you're going to have it confirmed, click here, complete order. So as you can see, uh, we got it ordered right now. And what we have to do now is to set it up for our phone. So when I'm going to have it, I'm going to click here, view SIM details. And here you're going to have the view instructions we will get to it but i want to show you here so here you're going to find the data so data you're going to find the remaining data 
use data and total data. When we're going to activate the card and you're going to start using it, oh, later in the day, it will automatically like update how much data you spent. This is not going to be like the live data spending. So let's say that I'm going to watch two videos on uh, my new eSIM card somewhere. And I'm going to watch the videos. And when I'm going to watch it, I'm not going to see it right here immediately how much data I used. It's going to take some time, like a few hours. So that's important thing to know. Also, you can have my packages here. So this is the package that we have. And what we can do here, we can click activate now. What I like to do, I like to do and activate it before I'm going to go somewhere. So let's say that you want to get a Spain plan and you're going to travel to Spain. What I do is that even when I'm in my home country, I'm going to activate it and set it up before I'm going to fly there. So in a moment when I'm going to be in Spain, I can connect it and it's going to work flawlessly. So that's what I recommend to do. Now, let's say I'm going to activate it right now. Let's say I'm going to travel. The validity of the new package will start. Are you sure you want to activate your package? Activate. Okay. And now we have the seven days for actually, or like whatever days you choose for spending our data. And you see always here when it's going to expire. Do you see it, right? Then you can find here that you can buy top up packages and you can even buy more data later on if the one gigabyte or whatever data package you bought is not going to be enough for you. So when we're going to have it, what we have to do is we're going to click here, view instructions for the installation of eSIM. So first, what we have to do is click here, install eSIM, click here and allow Airload to use your phone's eSIM allow. Your phone will disconnect from the SIM2 network to perform this operation. Continue. And when you're going to activate the SIM, you're going to find right here, your SIM has been successfully installed. Now, if you're going to have an error message, maybe you try to do it on data. You have to be connected to the Wi-Fi only because when I tested it out that I was connected with my home SIM card to data and I tried to activate the SIM with the Aerolo, what happened? Uh, it, like, it was like error message, right? So here, when you're going to click activate, you want to be connected on Wi-Fi. Or if you want to, you can also do it with QR code or even manually. So there are two ways, other ways how we can do it. Now, when you're going to have your eSIM activated, now we go to settings and I'm going to show you what you have to do. Go to settings on your phone. Now press connections. Here, you're going to be on a SIM manager, click on SIM manager and right here, you see that eSIM1 is activated. What we're going to do is we're going to have the mobile data and click here the eSIM1. So it's going to be the priority. Then what you want to do is click on the eSIM1, click on name and I definitely recommend like renaming it. I'm going to rename it Slovak because I have the Slovak package bought. Okay, now click done. Okay, so we have right now the eSIM. It's activated for mobile data. It's uh, working well. And now under SIM manager, you're going to have mobile networks. This is another thing that we're going to go. Click on it. Here, you want to have enabled data roaming. Have it on. Then we have to figure it out the access point names. So click on access point names. In here, you want to click add and here, just leave it like it is. Go back to the arrow in here. You're going to have the APN. Do you see it right under network? You're going to have APN and you want to write internet. So click here, go back, have name, internet, APN, choose that internet too. So look what, what I've done. I renamed the name internet and AP and internet. Go to top right three dots, click save. In here, you can have the internet. So you want to press it. Opa, sorry. And choose it. Okay, so we have the access point names right now for the internet and internet. So name and APN is going to be the same as it is right here. Data roaming on, we have it on. With internet. And the last thing we have to do, we have to figure it out 
uh, the network. So let's go back here and then go to network operators, disable uh, select automatically and choose right here. You're going to find O2. So I'm going to choose the network that I have right here. So when you're right now home, you won't be able to select the network because you're not in that country. But in the moment when you're going to be in that country, you will be able to choose it. So when I come here, O2. Okay. Okay, register on network works really well. And now when I have it, look at this. And I go to settings. I'm going to disable Wi-Fi. Automatically, I'm connected to the data. So Wi-Fi is done right now. And now, let's say I go to YouTube. Look how fast it is. This is all data from the eSIM. Or if I go to Reddit. How quick amazing it is. So uh, that's about it. And then if I go even here to I don't know to watch some YouTube video. Let's check the quality. And how fast it loads. Pretty good, right? And I don't recommend if you're not going to have a lot of data, I don't recommend watching videos. But yeah, that's pretty much it on how you can use it. If you can have any questions, guys, let me down below in the comments. We'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. And yeah, thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. And the last thing I wanted to show you is this. When you're going to be in Arlo and you're going to set it up, then you will be able to find in my ASIMs all your current ASIMs that you are using. So I can click here. And I'm going to find all the data right here about it. So that's about it. Thank you very much guys for watching. Hope this video helped you and have a great day and goodbye.